Hello, everybody. Welcome to Vaudeville's Primetime Tuesday. I am joined by a complete stranger on the cast, Cardinals29. How you doing, Cards? Hello, hello. Never been better. You know, a great day for some Primetime how, Tuesday. You know? How real is that? How real is that now, Cards? I know you've casted quite a bit. Yeah, extensively. Year, year, years of casting experience, known mm -hmm. most recently for your appearance on the Omega Strikers Pro League Invitational as my coach. Uh, so how about you break down these two teams for me as we're as we're getting into the draft in Oni Village? Of course, of course. Those two teams, <laughs> you know, being for since I of course know the two teams. Yeah, what are they? Cards? Can... <laughs> oh, you know, I was said, you know, giving you a cue to remind me what those they are. Oh, I just just I I didn't want to take it away from you. So what are the teams again? Oh, cards? Quest, Quest <laughs> Esports versus. Let's go. Uh. <laughs> You know, demons. The other Bro. team, demons. Bro. <laughs> All right. So yeah, this is a matchup that historically demons Rob had quests number four. Quest still looking for that elusive first tournament win. They are out in the mines. They are grinding. They yearn for the mines. And no matter how many times they get knocked back down, they are always a team that can upset someone. So I always look forward to seeing them play, especially. Amsterdam's on what I, I regard as his best pick as the Estelle. Um, Cards, you're a bit of a goalie player, so um, what kind of goalies, like, what do you think about the, the goalie picks here? It's looking like Dubu, and then it could be Kai, but we'll have to see. Could be Kai well, Ford. It looks like, like, I mean, Dubu is just, just the classic on this map, you know? He, hey. No one holds it down like no other. That was Controls fast, the so. map like no other. The wall, you know? I do like, I am a fan of, of Kai, though. If hey, it is Kai goalie? Who's no, playing? I call it. It's Aragoli. <laughs> it's Aragoli. <laughs> yeah. So Demons Ross been playing Aragoli. Is it good? Questionable. Should you play in your Slogan games? Absolutely, Absolutely. not. Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're in Cardinals 29's Diamond Slogan games, bust it out for him. Hey, if you're on you the might, other team, you might see it on my side. You know, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Interesting that Gumi elected for the eject button to try to get some more offensive pressure. Uh, Eras normally opt for Moby boots or the eject button. I think momentum boots would give him more value here. We're going to see if he's able to get offensive pressure coming out, um, which uh, he, I don't know if he necessarily needs with the Kai Ford known in this matchup for being able to provide more of the midfield uh, winning like interactions than Estelle will. So we'll probably see the ball forced into Quest Esports half a lot more just because their characters will not be able to keep up with the speed uh, that Demons Raw's characters will be capable of. Um, so, yeah. Here's my question. Uh, what does this pick bring over like Eject Kai? Since Gumi. Oh. <laughs> oh my. Great double that's kill a, by Snake. That's a great question, <laughs> and I'm going to answer that with absolutely nothing. Um, every once, every once in a while, Love you're going to send a NATO down the lane and smile <laughs> wide. But yeah, Kai I'm, can't do that, baby. No, <laughs> yeah. sir. Hey guys, does Kai need buffs? Be honest. Be honest. Is I think weak? we need to buff him right now. That is so real. Oh, uh, but... Also, something that is important to, to mention is that we have on our hands our favorite part of the entire game. In the uh, in the awakening selection, one of the trainings is heavy impact, but cards we've got a bit of a race for mayor this game with oh. Spark of Resilience being oh the starting my. training. Can, can I ask <laughs> who has put themselves on the ballot so for the this ballot, fine city? The ballot currently the four candidates we have up for election are four Gumi. candidates. <laughs> Primaries Gumi. are on. Kai Noob, Switch, SSB, and Toasty Local have all put their hats into the ring to oh be elected my. mayor. We have, a, we have a great race this year. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, Love that. I'm, I'm curious to see what the political experts are going to analyze here when the first primaries begin in this draft, which is, oh, they've already gotten out to a 2 -0. I think, I, I definitely think this team earlier, like Dubu scales a lot harder with the, the trainings as rounds go on. Like he doesn't he really gets way more value out of speed and cooldown um, in terms of, like, the bang for your buck. And also, oh, apparently, just executed someone. Man. Okay. Um, while Era is going to give way more value early because she's not going to be under as much offensive pressure from Switch and Hamster because of their, uh, their lack of cooldown trainings, their lack of size trainings. So well-placed strikes is going to make sure Gumi will be able to save the ball. 
Oh my god, and it's a massacre. Oh. Do not look. Hold. Turn the hold cameras switch. off. Forward in the net. Hold. Switch needs to hold here. I mean, I think I they're kind of they're playing with their oh, food a little bit. He's doing I'll it. say it. Yeah, oh. something about the 30 passes back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, the triangle. The triangle. The, tri the triangle. triangle formation. Triangle formation. Okay, so Snake, I think, actually did not go for a spark. He's the only one on their team without oh. a spark, but we don't but see any they're sparks. Sparkless. The primaries are still on. Yeah, this is this is honestly a waste of a draft if there's no sparks. Yeah, I mean, honestly, what's what's even the point? Can we just can we just go to the next draft already? <laughs> yeah, please. No sparks, no interest. Um, I think missile prop will go to the Dubu and yeah, then yeah, missile prop Dubu. Looks Kai's good. gonna deny the big fish from Rasmus, which I like because if you have spark or resilience, so for people unaware that are watching the stream or the VOD. The Sparks and the Stagger trainings were recently buffed. Most notably, if you've played the game, Reverberation has changed from a bottom of the barrel pick to one of the strongest trainings in the game. They've over doubled the health ratio. So when you pick up Big Fish and then you pick up Spark of Resilience, Kainoop has uh, about 500 more health on average than most of the players. You get something like peak performance, you get something like reverberation. The bonus stats you're getting from stacking the stagger is incredibly difficult to match, and the craziest part is you're not really giving up anything to do it, because you still have that tankiness and CDR and killing potential, which we yeah. just see Dubu poorly executed. I mean, it honestly feels like you're picking up, like, two trainings when you pick up, like, reverb or bulk up. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a chilling, like, oh, guys, I got a bulk up with a stagger training. I got 300 HP and, like, 30 power for fun, and that will only get stronger. So, um, we'll probably see Kainoom, if he can't get a spark, opt into more health trainings in future rounds. <laughs> And usually in these rounds, speaking of what's actually going on in the action, you're going to see a lot of times the damage coming out from the Zentaro. The one weakness of Dubu on this map, if you don't go into pauldrons, which you've seen a lot here, is his susceptibility to dying. Zentaro Dubu is a pretty well-known matchup for being difficult for Dubu because Zentaro has tools to play around Dubu stun, and he just does too much damage for Dubu to consistently deal with. So as long as... Gumi can hold it down the back, which nice play by Hamster Quest actually punishes the weakness of Era. Uh, as long as Gumi and Kainub can control the ball in the backcourt, you're going to watch Snake slowly whittle poor Dibu down um, as the match goes on. And that's going to be the game plan of Demon's Raw, which is the team that I would favor to win this one. So uh, the win con for Demon's Raw is to, to hold it, hold it down while Snake can go to work. <laughs> Well, and, okay, and they've well. been. My God, the wind god is not being. The achieved. wind These god is not translating very well onto the field. But focus up. Yeah, focus up. Focus up. Maybe next round, Kimi, Kinoob, and Gumi can work together, make something work. Snake yeah. already going to work. Not really. He's kind of dead in real life. <laughs> But so it's that's chill. Yeah, it's it's something interesting uh, that we've been talking about what Dubu struggles with, and Gumi struggling holding a single a barrier this round. Classy double from Gumi. <laughs> yeah. Love that from him. Yep. Show them pause. Uh, most recent emo added is that the we're just gonna get full chatting mode here. That uh, Dubu emo where he's cheering is the most recent community emo, guys. So if you are an Omega Strikers player, it is in your inventory right now, and you can use it for free. Dare I say cool a great emo. job from the community with this one? Yeah. I must say. Oh, nice oh, hook out of flip. switch. If Gumi did not have flip, that was in. I think it's going to be a goal, though. Yep. Hamster ties that up uh. nicely. They kind of speed ran that set. It looked like, I mean, Demon's Raw came blasting out of the gate. Yeah. They fire right back. And the Lord punishes those who do not elect oh, to become Hamster the Quest mayor. Coming up big in the, in the primaries here. The polls but are he, surging. No, but here's the secret cards. He's not yeah. in the race. No. And so Gumi, Gumi will be. Is the no, no. He took super search from the Centauro. Gumi. He what about your duty to your city? Yeah, guys. Whoa. For non-knowers, you're the mayor of Sparkington City. If you get all four sparks, I want to see it happen. So far, we have Toasty at no Switch at two. Everyone else still at one. That speed is actually a huge pickup. Yeah, that it's is probably a very yeah. good one on this map. I, yeah, I would say it's probably his best. Because uh, this comp really isn't going to kill that many people 
off of stagger like if anything they're going to be the ones out staggered so the speed is going to help him a lot in these especially on the side zones he's going to have to do a lot of heavy lifting in the front half as dibu goes oh, down Dibu down hamster actually plays goalie so this isn't the most unwarrable situation hamster looking a little dead though as well yeah oh, switch it's okay Let's switch see. is held before yeah we will see it again Needs to stall for Hamster to get back up. The the long range hitboxes of Estelle are so important to the era. Nice Ooh, great saves. strike. Yeah, it, the long range hitboxes from Hamster Quest are really important because the midfield goalie combo from Demon's Raw is really short range. Like Kai Barrage is is like 550, and Era Beam is similar. So Hamster can always out range and push the ball through the midfield line. So it's really important if he's not up um, for them to stall so he can use his primary and ult to make sure the ball's moving forward. Oh, oh, oh. the stay far steppy roll. No, Toasty. <laughs> no. <laughs> Both barriers down. Open field. I actually do favor the side of Demon's Raw, though, when there are no barriers. I think the Kai and the Era are going to be more flexible. The speed coming out from Kai and Megumi is a lot. But then they oh. hit it into the Dubu wall and just lose the, the yeah. ball for free. Some of the weaknesses of Eric Gorley coming out in strong, <laughs> in, in full detail here. It, incredible that the powerhouse pick known as Eric Gorley yeah, could yeah. let in that goal. Yumi letting his <laughs> best pick let in a goal like that. How can you do this? Startling. Startling out of Eric Gorley. Now, Yikes. I will say, it is funny simply because if you're Rasmus, you get a little tilted every time you're Arrow Beam because it feels terrible to lose size. But other than that, my god, this pick looks I like think, it's giving zero value. I think he can live with it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest. I, I don't think Dubu can live with it. I, I haven't been keeping track. I want to say that's like the fifth or sixth time Dubu's been killed by Snake. Snake is level putting in work. Eight. He's level eight, by the way. Like three god, levels above God every knows he's not player. getting help from Kai and yeah. Era on killing him. So yeah. good job on Snake to find these, these crucial goalie kills. Looks like the flip goes wide, gets a barrier on the back end, but Kainu should be able to force us through with Snake on the next push. They have two core flips, uses the first to get a ball to Snake, but Hamster intercepts it quite nicely. Dribbling back and forth, Kainu is going to try to use Barrage to keep the ball up. He wants it in a position where Snake can ult the ball and trap it against the barrier. Not going to go here. Nice of Lucid from Snake to stay alive in the pressure up in the forward position. As Gumi runs forward with Eject, Blink's back though, he doesn't want to risk the core flip and training the barriers. Hard oh, nice. to defend an open net versus a Stella's era, so I understand why he might want to keep that. Ajax back in. Gumi always looking for the core flip pressure on the net. If he can manage to get close enough to the barrier and eject back safely to, to help his forwards, he's he keeps looking for that potential. He's not finding it quite yet. But in terms of offensive pressure, the eject button is putting in work because he's able to back up his forwards with an additional strike. Kainu Barrage goes a bit wide. Gumi manages to sneak it back in, but to no avail. Nice mix up from Hamster Quest blows Gumi's core flip, but Snake with a nice secondary breaks their final barrier. It's an open net for Toasty Local. Meanwhile, on the other side, they're struggling to break fast Kainu, playing a second goalie style with the Kai forward. This is what the pick is uh, excels at. Not that I would know, but Kai or forward. Or something like that. Yeah, or something. It, it can be anything. Kai, Kai forward. Uh, I mean, look, let's be honest. Kai is a stronger goalie overall, historically, and even in the current meta but uh kai ford excels at denying zones of control with his barrage and when he activates his secondary for speed combined with his slick kicks the estelle will not be able to keep up nice flip from toasty keep nice flip from kind of oh yeah denied time. yeah toasty has some good strike plays from there if he Hamster messed up that was gonna be a goal and snake are low this could be a crucial kill coming up over whichever side lands it here if they do yeah in theory, cooldowns are up for blue side. If they stagger them correctly, he should die. Oh, oh, oh great no! kill. But he rolls in. Very oh. unfortunate. That's You know what's funny is, uh, also for people who, who aren't familiar with the patch notes, I have to talk about that real quick. There was an Estelle damage nerf on her ult, which everyone was like, why the hell did they do that? It actually made the difference. Hamster thought the ult would get it. So he didn't primary, and then he had to think to primary, and then didn't strike in time. So... Interesting that that actually was relevant there. Um, we're gonna see Radfire for Estelle, and then Dubu's probably gonna, gonna see go another peak. 
Spark on the table, yeah. though. I think it's going to go to Rasmus. No, it? Oh. they denied it. That's so sad. Uh, he gives peak. I actually like giving the peak to Rasmus. Uh, it gives him some even more speed. So now he has double health trainings and, and two sparks yeah, for speed. Very fast. He should be the fastest base movement speed character on the pitch. That being um, said, yeah, he's era not time moment. very fast. Yeah, it's 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 a bummer. I mean, now he can keep up, but he just won't have the multi hits to deal with Kainub, especially now the game is almost sealed because Kainub's picked up a crucial training on this map, which is the quick strikes, um, which we see him demonstrating a full display here. He's just going to spam the ball in the corner and wait for a forward to position to cut his dribble and then blow past him just like this. This should be a goal. Yep. It's just like that. He's going to dribble in the corner. You get the increased energy from core flip strikes, and then he'll force it through with barrage and his other forward. It's it's super clinical. Uh, I do it myself all the time. It's, it is the way to score on Kai. Quick strikes makes this match like 20 times harder. You seem to know a lot about this Kai forward pick. Um, yeah, I've, I've studied the VODs chatting. Really? Any <laughs> guides, you know? You, you've seen? Kai forward guides? Well, Ooh. I don't know about Ooh. that. Maybe, guys, it's September. Actually, That's I can't so show my own Twitch channel on, on the <laughs> broadcast. I was about to chill it. Nice goal. I can, I can respect the good chill. You know what? I can. Guys, if you like that goal, <laughs> go watch twitch.tv slash firelightv for great Kai forward gameplay. Chatting. Wow, um, that is so real. <laughs> yeah. We're on match point here. Quest has put up a good fight. But I can't overstate enough how difficult it'll be. That's a McDouble. Oh, how, hate oh, Gumi's staying up. Oh, Gumi's flying. Get in there, young man. Fly. Get in there. Oh, oh kind of gives up a. Oh yeah, he gives a barrier to the Estelle blank. Oh, it's in. oh nice well pass is that quest. Yeah, that was nice. I like that. Gumi wanted to fly, and then kind of instantly crumbled. Forward in the net. <laughs> I understand completely. I. I don't know if Quest can make a comeback, but it's a good start. It's really going to come down to the fact that their comp has no kill pressure. And when you're getting outmatched in midfield, like if you don't have advantageous trainings, like look at kind of go, like this is another barrier. Oh, he cannot be like they have no idea. They can't out core control this. Like it's just, oh, what can you it. do? So when you, when you can't have that kill pressure, Demon's Raw is just going to clean up because there's there's really nothing else they could have done. It was it was clinical from Demon's Raw. As soon as that quick strikes got picked up, Kai is able to take over the map with the Kai, and it's just a weakness of Quest's comp that it's just not a pick they can stop at that point, regardless of the the weakness that Era Goalie provides. I mean, sometimes it's just as simple as give your Kai some speed with quick yeah. strikes, and no one's going to touch him. I mean, you don't got to make a lot of saves if it never really comes to your goal. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I think nothing nothing exemplifies that more of the simple fact that Kainub and Gumi had the same saves. Yeah. If you look at the stats, yeah, they sure. down to literally the number. They have the exact same saves. So well played to um, Demon's Raw and Quest. Demon's Raw looking as dominant as ever. They are the only undefeated team in NASL. They have good results in all their tournaments. They're probably the championship favorite for tonight's Primetime Tuesday. Definitely a team that you need to look out for if you're in this bracket. Nothing really else to be said. Um, Cards, and I know you're you're pretty yeah, familiar they, with they, the competitive scene. What do you think? Of course. Hey, that seems pretty good. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's facts. What what makes them so good, Card? What sets them apart from the from the pack? It's you know it's got to be the the gooby difference. You know. No one, no one gets McDoubled with Grace like he does. That is okay. true. No, no one, one is better at griefing their first two bears and then holding it down. That I'll say so that real. much. He knows yeah. that he's the better goalie, and to to, to help train, he intentionally <laughs> loses his barriers. <laughs> oh, it's okay. like a monk in the mountains yeah. under the waterfall, yeah. in deep he, in deep concentration. He's got the training weights on. That's all I'll say. I like that. God also, help someone us all if he that I didn't off. really. I didn't really talk about much was Snake. Um, and honestly, I don't want to because he had a disgusting play style where he just sat on <laughs> Dibu all game. Absolutely hated that. It, it, it's completely effective. I mean, hats off hey, to him that it worked. That, was, that is what he's supposed to do. But John Odyssey might need to take a look at that Zentaro character. I did not enjoy watching 
poor Dimu get walloped in the back, and there was yeah. nothing to be done. Like, seriously, it, it just looked like Demon's Raw I mean, had their number. What is Dimu supposed to do? He throws a log every 15 seconds. <laughs> in that time, Zentaro throws out 80 abilities at him and two <laughs> passives. Uh, it's, it's very chill. It's very chill. Very cool that he could just walk up and solo kill the goalie. Um, with no Kai throws a barrage every 30 years. Uh, yeah. Uh, big no. help for sure. <laughs> I get it. I I want to also shout out. I think the the forwards of Quest had some good sequences. There was they're constantly improving. I think the pressure that Estelle adds on top of Switch's presence on Erasmus was resulting in some bears being taken from Gumi. But I do think the the match MVP has to go to Kainu defensively helping and then he would just as soon as he got the ball in his hands he just dribbled up the court and it felt like every single time i looked at him barreling down the speed lane with flip i knew the ball was going in so well done to kind of and the rest of demons are all they'll be moving on in the bracket and speaking of moving on the bracket we have much more ptt to be seen so we will be back for the next round of winners uh, where Demons Raw will once again try to see if they can continue their Blitzkrieg on the way to the championship. So do not go anywhere. We will be right back with more Primetime Tuesday from Serve Audible himself. Uh, so stay tuned and we will see you soon.